friends, how are you today? I would like to welcome you to a new little series that we're doing that is kind of five minute family devotionals. Um, just the kind of questions that kids, parents, everybody, all of us have a little bit of time together to kind of talk about those questions and wrestle with the answers and spend some time together each week in just these short little five minutes. And today we are going to start with, with the big question, right? Do you ever wonder about who God is or why God does or doesn't do something? We all little to big have those questions sometimes and i wanted to share with you today this book called what is god like it was written by rachel held held evans and matthew paul turner and illustrated by ying hui tan and this is a book that helps us kind of answer those big questions about god or begin to think about what those answers might be so this is what is god like what is god like that's a very big question, one that people from places all around the world have wondered about since the beginning of time. And while nobody has seen all of God, because God is far too big for any of us to fully see, we can know what God is like. God is like an eagle, sharp-eyed and swift, with wings so wide you can play under their shadows. God is like a river, constant and life-giving. When you grow near God, you'll sprout up strong as a tree. God is like the stars, forever present and bright. Even when they feel far away, you can always look up and see them winking at you. God is like a shepherd, brave and good, a protector who loves her sheep so much that she watches over all of them and knows each of their names by heart. God is like a fort, strong and secure with walls that are mighty and safe. Inside, there are hidden places to hold you when you're scared or need a quiet place to rest. God is like a gardener, patient and nurturing. God plants, waters, weeds, and fertilizes the earth until every good thing on it seeks the nourishing sun and grows. God is like the flame of a candle, warm and inviting. With God close by, you can look to the light and see through the darkest of nights. God is like the wind, passionate and full of mystery. God is both here and mysteriously also over there. God is everywhere, swirling throughout the world, whistling across mountain ranges, rustling through trees, and pressing against your cheeks on a breezy day. God is like an artist, creative and unpredictable, always busy making and remaking everything brilliant and new. God is like a mother, strong and safe. You can crawl up into her lap whenever you want to, and she will hold you until you fall asleep. God is like a father, gentle and safe. He will put you on top of his shoulders to give you a bird's eye view of all creation. God is like three dancers, graceful and precise. They move to the same music in very different ways, showcasing all of God's elegance and rhythm in your life. God is like a rainbow, vivid and full of color, a dazzling reminder of promise and hope for all people after a storm. And because we know what God is like, we know that God is kind, God is forgiving, God is slow to get angry, God is quick to be glad, God is happy when you tell the truth and sad when things are unfair. She is your protector. He is trustworthy. They are friends when you feel alone. God hopes, God perseveres. What is God like? That's a very big question. One that people from places all around the world throughout all time have answered in many different ways. Keep searching, keep wondering, 
keep learning about God. But whenever you aren't sure what God is like, think about what makes you feel safe, what makes you feel brave, and what makes you feel loved. That's what God is like. So that is What is God Like by Rachel Held Evans. Um, gives some answers, maybe gives you some more questions, gives you a different way to think about things, um, which is what a really good book does, right? Um, Rachel Held Evans wrote a bunch of adult books too, or a couple of adult books too. And one of the things that she said uh, in one of those adult books uh, is one of the things I love most when I think about who God is. And what she said is the essence of the divine, so the essence of God, the essence of the divine is love. In the midst of your questions, you are fully loved right now, just as you are. And that, my friends, is the good news that we can hold on to every single day, all the time, no matter how big our questions are, or how big our problems seem, or how hard things might seem, or how good things might seem, or how wonderful things might be. That right there, that love, that knowledge that we have that love of God with us, is what we hold on to. I'll leave you now with this blessing. On this day and on all days, may the spirit of God swirl around you and leave you with a grin. And may that grin turn into a smile. And may that smile turn into an act of loving kindness. And together will be a chorus of love living in the way of Jesus in our community. Amen. Be well, my friends.